Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I have an unboxing for you today. <clears throat> it is the Cozy Witch Tower Deck by Amanda Lovelace and the artwork is by Janaina Medeiros. I already did this video and somehow in the middle something got screwed up. I don't even know what happened, you know, so I'm redoing it. <laughs> um... I do like this deck. I actually, I love the artwork in it, except for one particular card. And I will be honest, I'm probably going to return this deck because that card, it's, it's, um, and I'll show you what it is. It's a, um, major arcana card. And because of the imagery, it really, really bothers me. And I, I mean, you can't, if it was another card, I would just take the card out, you know, but with the Major Arcana, I think those are very uh, important cards to have. And I don't know how I'll be able to, I would be able to use the deck without that card it, because it's an important card. And it's, it's kind of in the beginning, I'm going to show you. And I don't understand the reasoning for it. And unfortunately in the book, it doesn't explain it either. Um, and... I'll, I'll explain it to you what's going on once you see it. It is, other than, than that one card, I really do like the imagery in this deck. <clears throat> I think it's very beautifully done. One thing I don't like is nothing is capitalized. The names are not capitalized. The starting of sentences are not capitalized. <clears throat> I don't understand the reasoning for that either. Now, I haven't read further in the book. It might be there. I don't know. I'm one, I'm a stickler for, um, proper grammar, <laughs> even though half the time, you know, my punctuation is off, but you know, I read a lot of books and stuff and I don't know, it just kind of does something to my head. So this is what's in the back here. It says, take a chance for each morning is a new beginning. The creators behind the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck, best-selling author Amanda Lovelace and illustrator Janina Medeiros bring you Cozy Witch Tarot. A deck that goes perfectly with your comfiest sweater, a lit candle, and a steamy mug of coffee. Inspired by the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, Cozy Witch Tarot is ideal for beginners and suitable for practitioners at every skill level. <clears throat> and it has 78 cards, 128 page um, book, illustrated book with uh, card spreads, tarot basics, and more. And it's put out by Andrew Mc, Andrews McNeil publishing um looks like it's got a little dust on it here it's probably from my desk you know even though i keep try to keep it clean dust just gets everywhere all right so it's a nice box i mean just because i don't like it doesn't mean someone else isn't gonna like it it's just personally for me that one card it just it just sours me i don't know it just completely sours me anyway so this is the book and it's it's a nice little book you know it's not in color but there's quick blurbs and each card has its own um write-up which is nice but as you can see nothing is capitalized and that just irritates me i don't know what the reasoning is behind that i really don't i do not have their other deck um so i don't know if it's the same or not i really couldn't tell you now let's move that out of the way and it comes with a little thing around it, the little plastic thing. I just keep everything in there. I don't know. I just save stuff. Um, this is the back, which I love. I think it's so cute. You've got the coffee. you got the candles. you got the swords. <clears throat> and you got the pentacles. I really love the coffee mug or coffee cup because I love coffee. So I just really love that. I even love the colors. It's very fallsy and comforting. I do like that a lot. The cards are nice. It's a it's a thick deck. The cards are actually pretty decent. I could see them getting kind of beat up on the edges if you're one of those that likes to bang your cards, but any card's going to do that anyway. Um they don't they do slide good, but they as you can tell, they still stick a little bit, and that's cuz they're new. So, and each card has a little um some of like this is supposed to be the um the fool and it said instead it's the cozy witch so some of the names have been changed not all so sometimes i don't understand why creators do that either they'll switch some of the names i'm glad they don't switch them all because after a while you get confused anyway glad there's a number there too which is nice and they each have a little a little write-up about what the card means so or an affirmation whatever 
So zero, the, uh, the cozy witch, which typically would be the fool. Take a chance for each morning is a new beginning. And I love that. I love this. I love how she's looking at herself and, uh, and she's just so like, you know, here I am. And uh, there's an open window, bright new day. Love it. The magician, you have everything you need to do anything you want. I love that as well. Very artsy and it's, I do like the artwork in this deck a lot, except for one card. And I'll show you. Um, the High Priestess, and she's got a little thing that says Divination Witch right there. When in doubt, your first gut feeling can always be trusted. That's I really agree with that. I am notorious for ignoring my gut. And it uh, always goes wrong. <laughs> always, always goes wrong. <clears throat> Number three, the Empress. There is beauty to be found in every experience. Okay, this is the card. I cannot get past the fact that she's wearing a mask. Now, I am not opposed to wearing masks. I was just recently sick. went to the grocery store. I wore a mask. I'm not opposed to that, you know. It's this particular card. This card does not go with that. It's a mother holding her child. It's such a beautiful card. It is so tender. Reminds me very much of my daughter. You know, she just had her daughter's, uh, my granddaughter is seven months old. Um, that is such a tender, beautiful moment. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't, the book does not explain the reasoning for this. This card means fertility, abundance, wellness, uh, it's in that right there it to me i see a mask i think somebody is either sick or trying to prevent getting sick i see fear you know especially with everything we've gone through the last three four years i don't even know how many years now um i i it to me it does not go with this card at all to the point where i cannot read with this card and this is my own personal opinion if this was, if the mask was on another card, I could see it in a few other cards. I would understand it. But in this particular one, I just don't get it. And the book does not explain it. Uh, which, honestly, even if the book puts some sort of explanation in there, I, for me, it wouldn't be good enough. Because I don't see this card in that way. This card, for me, is always a card of great beauty, mothering, um wholeness it's 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 just usually an, to me it's probably the most positive card in the deck you know because i am a very earthy mothering uh, compassionate caring at least i try to be um i'm a very mothering person you know my my daughter was just sick you know and i helped her and uh, with the baby and everything and it's like my my concern wasn't for me or, you know, my concern was to take care of them. And I, I don't know, I, having children of my own, I never would consider that unless I was deathly ill. Okay, get it. But this isn't that, this isn't showing you that image. And that's not what this card means. Now, I understand some people, you know, they have all kinds of health conditions and stuff. Even so, not what this card means in my personal opinion and even in the classic interpretation of the empress card okay so it's just i i don't understand it i could see it in another card but i can't see it in this one and i'm very sad because i really do like this deck maybe they'll redo it i don't know the deck wasn't expensive it's was only 16 something on amazon which is a really good deal and i just i just i can't get past it and like I said, I'm not opposed to it at all. I could see it in a bunch of other cards. I could see it being there and that would be fine. Although to tell you the truth, I would rather forget the last three, four years and just get on with life as much as possible. And I think a lot of us are traumatized by that as well in many ways. So many people got sick. So many people passed away. So many things happened. And I think that we just have to like take that part of our lives and kind of just, you know, go forward. I don't see that. I see this as stuck. I don't like it. Okay. So this is why I'm probably going to return this deck. Oh, it, the only reason I'm going to return this deck other than that, every other card's fine for me. Okay. So that's just my own personal opinion. Whether you agree with me or not, that's perfectly fine. Whether you have a different view on it, that's perfectly fine. Leave me a comment. Um, 
I just, I can't get past it. I just can't. <clears throat> so the emperor being the authority of your own life comes with a lot of responsibility. I do like these blurbs a lot. I think that if you're just starting to read, you, you don't even really need the book if you really don't want to. They can actually be used almost as oracle cards as well because of that, which is nice. And I can't, and that's the thing, I can't use this deck without the Empress card in it. Because that card to me is a very pivotal card and it's really, for me, probably my favorite card, you know, or, or close to it. The Hierophant, tradition is important, but it doesn't have to do, to be everything. I love, I love the imagery here. Love it so much. The Lovers, will you or won't you? The choice is yours. I like that as well because the Lovers is not always about love. Sometimes it's about choices. That has to do with love or it could be a different thing. It could be about work. You never know. With, with the Lovers card, it's weird. The Chariot, you'll never get anything if you keep standing still. I love it. I love that it's a bike. So cool. Strength, it takes great strength to be soft. I love that. It looks like my kitty. She's so beautiful. Um, the Hermit. Solitary Witch. There are some things that must be done on your own. And that's true. Now, there was another one. She had something written. What was it? The um, a High Priestess. Oh, Divination Witch. That's what it was. Excuse me, you guys. All of a sudden, my nose is super, super itchy. I'm still not 100% after that. Um, and that's because the... The virus that I had, which was like two months ago now, affected my thyroid, so my voice is still wonky. <clears throat> um, I'm still dealing with that. I actually had a procedure last week to check my thyroid, so there's still stuff going on. Anyway, um, I already read that one. I love this one. This would be the Wheel of Fortune, I believe. Good luck charm. If nothing seems to be going away, cast a spell. I love the artwork. The artwork is really beautiful. I love the blurbs, um, and I'm really sad over this because this is a deck that I honestly would use and probably use often, but I just can't get past that. 11, justice, stick to your truth and everything will turn out just fine, and that is my truth. may not be everybody's truth, but it's definitely mine. 12, the patient witch, so this would be like the hanged man. Learn to get comfortable with sitting still whenever necessary. I really like that. Uh, this is a great deck. If, uh, if I hope other people can get past that because it really is a great deck. Um, and I think it would work really well for most people that don't have a hang up like I do. Um, 13 broom, tidy up your life so you can make space for something better. So 13 is usually death. And I like that it's not death, although it could be death. You know, it's broom. Maybe it should be, I mean, broom is kind of weird, you know. Um, but of course it's a witch deck, so it's fine. 14 temperance. I wish that was a different thing. I wish that was more like, um, patience, not, well, not patience. What I guess temperance is patience, but more like, oh, I mean, it says here, let go of self-imposed limitation. So I guess it would be more like, um, balance. You know, I think temperance, temperance would be better as balance. Temperance is a word. People don't really use it. Toxic witches. Be cautious of those who take more than they give. So this would be the devil. And I really like this because you got two people here having a good time and they're leaving her out and she doesn't look happy. She looks really sad. You know, I know that feeling a lot. 16, the tower. Get ready. Things are about to get shaken up. And, you know, the three houses on fire. I, I love the artwork in this deck. Really do love it. The star, have faith that healing is in the forecast. So the star usually means hope. I love that a lot. Um, I love the artwork except for that one image. I just, I am very sad about it. The moon, taking time for deep self-reflection is essential. I love it. She's wearing, see if you see her here. She's actually wearing wolves on her coat or sweater. Very nice. The sun. Give yourself permission to experience joy. Judgment. All the, all the signs say that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. The world. Yay. You did it. Now 
Now do something to celebrate a job well done. I, I mean, it's just so beautiful. Just so beautiful. Now, each one of the uh, aces, I believe, has... Let's see. I thought it had a, each one had some sort of cup, but no, it's not. I thought there was something that each one had. Now I can't remember what it was. Anyway, Ace of Cups. Do you feel that... Do you feel that in your heart? That's potential, dear. I like a potion. So cute. Two of Cups. Some people will like the pumpkins to your spice. I love it. <laughs> Three of Cups. Come together with your covenant. I love this. I love that there's somebody with a wheelchair here. I love that there's a uh, black woman here. A, a chubbier white woman. I love it. It's just very inclusive. It's really nice. They're doing cars. They're having cake. I want to be in that group. I want to join them and have a good time. And I love that their hats are hanging there. It's very cute. Four of Cups. Try not to be so picky. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, coffee. Like, which one do you want? That's me. Sometimes I'm, I was just recently at the um, at the um, bakery and I wanted a specific... There's a, I'm up in the Northeast. I'm, I'm over here in New Hampshire. And they have something called a lobster claw. It's a pastry filled. It's like a fluffy pastry uh, filled with some sort of cream or I don't know. And anyway, I wanted a particular one. And this woman got so huffy with me at the at the um, bakery there. She wrapped up the thing and then threw it at me. <laughs> I'm like, what? I just, I'm the one buying. It wasn't cheap either. It was like $5 for one little thing. I'm like, listen, lady. I was just like, whatever. That's actually the day I wasn't feeling well. I was already feeling better, but I had, I was wearing a mask. So maybe she couldn't hear me. I don't know. It was just funny. Five of Cups. Spill tea isn't the end of the world. That's true. That's true. Although this card can be about sadness and stuff. Now she looks like she's got that skin condition. I forget what it's called. Uh, where you get patches of different, uh, like the white and different things. Um, I like that there's a, a lot of that in this deck. It's like different people. You got chubby people. You got thin people. You got white people, black people, women, men. Actually, I don't think there's any men in this. That's the one thing. I don't think there's any men in this deck. Which that, I wish there was. Because, you know, men are part of the human race. Uh, Six of Cups. Give yourself the compassion you were never given. Uh, that card, I really love. I like that. Because usually Six of Cups is about nostalgia, but that's also about the inner child. I really like that. Seven of Cups. <clears throat> Not every great option you're given will be a great option for you. True. Eight of Cups. It is your life. If your life feels stable, explore some new scenery. I love that. Love it. Nine of Cups. Live in a constant state of gratitude. Love how she's in her van with her pooch and she's going, you know. Going places. She's at the beach. It's awesome. I think all of these have, it looks like all the cups I just noticed have water. Well, not all of them. Like ocean. I thought they all had ocean, but most of them do. <coughs> An ocean scene. Ten of cups. Okay. But sometimes it really is all about rainbows and smiles. Love it. Love it. Page of cups. Let yourself be continually surprised by this thing called life. Knight of Cups, romanticize the present moment every chance you get. And the Queen of Cups, honoring your emotions is one of the highest forms of self-care. And she's a sea witch. King of Cups, always compose yourself before giving a response. I like that. I like that. That's a good verb. Um, a good explanation. Now, I do wish the kings were actually kings. but that's And the knights. But that's what I'm used to, and I do like that. Um, Ace of Pentacles. Wow, what an abundant opportunity. Oh, I love this one. Two of Pentacles. When life gets chaotic, find a way to get grounded and balanced. I just love what she's wearing. I love it. It's so beautiful. Three of Pentacles. What's the saying? Teamwork makes the spell work. They're all working together. It's really nice. She, I, she looks pregnant. I think she might be. That's cute. I love it. You know, I love pregnant ladies. <laughs> Four Pentacles. Treat yourself to something shiny every now and again. Uh, I like that. That's a different take on the Four Pentacles, huh? 
usually four pentacles they're just holding on to everything i like that five of pentacles nothing is ever as hopeless as it seems so it's a safe haven and it's almost like she's walking by not seeing it and there's a sign pointing to it i like that six of pentacles every blessing you give will eventually be returned to you i hope so uh seven of pentacles nurture what you have and see how it grows and grows all the plants see i actually just have a ton of plants rooting right now i'm gonna have to give them away one of my plants just threw out a bunch of babies and it was like over overburdening it so i just stuck a bunch of them i must have 50 I'm, and i'm not joking eight of pentacles sorry but fairies aren't going to come do all the work for you damn it <laughs> i want a fairy look at the, the cat's a fairy that's hilarious i love it Nine of Pentacles, pause and savor the results of your success. I love this. Ten of Pentacles, having it all looks different to everyone. Now, the only thing, I, I do like this imagery. I just wish she was happy. She doesn't look happy. And the Ten of Pentacles is a happy card. She you know, looks very pensive and kind of sad. I wish it was a happy card. I wish she was smiling and like cuddling her. She looks very closed off, you know. So that, that one, yeah. It's the only one that I'm like, nah, I don't think I would see that that way without, you know, the, um, if it didn't say 10 of pentacles, I actually would probably think five of cups or four of pentacles or, um, something where you're more closed off, even two of swords. Okay. Page of pentacles. When life gives you lemons, make enchanted lemonade. Love it. Knight of pentacles. Slowly but surely, you're going places. Now, I don't know what's going on with this. Is it, is it, it's not coins, so I don't know what that is. <clears throat> uh, Queen of Pentacles, there's no need to sacrifice. You can have it all. The witch is, and I actually have a sign like that. I had it for my Halloween stuff, and it disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. It was really cute. Um, King of Pentacles, true success isn't just about money. It's about happiness too. Thanks for supporting local witches. That's so cute. I love that. I like supporting local shops when I can. The problem is I hate going out and shopping. So I do wind up getting a lot of stuff online. I know, I know. It's just going shopping is not my favorite thing at all. Especially when I haven't been feeling well. Ace of Swords, look at you. You're bursting with sparkly new ideas. I love it. Look, it's, it looks more like a toothpick. It's cute. <laughs> Two of Swords, wake up. What is it that you truly want? And she's indecisive. It says indecisive witch, and she's bl blindfolded here. Not sure where to go. That I got. Three of Swords, it's okay to cry. She's coming out of the library. And I mean, I don't know specifically. Maybe she read a book and it made her sad. I go, you know. Um, but yeah, she's crying. It's raining. I, I wish this was more the typical Three of Swords, but it's okay. I mean, you do have the the heart there with the swords in it. Four of Swords, um, why aren't you resting? Okay, this is more like sometimes you really do need to take a break, especially mentally. Five of Swords, you can't be right all of the time. Of course I can. I'm a Taurus. I'm always right. No, just kidding. Usually I won't argue a point unless I know I'm right. Uh, but if I know I'm right, you can kill me. I'll never let it go. Six of Swords, all aboard, witch. It's time to write a new chapter. I love it. I love it. I like that. She's going on a trip. She's going away. Well, she's got all She's all packed up. She's going away. <laughs> Seven of Swords, are your actions really as selfless as you think? Now, this one, I don't know because, I mean, she's going to kill... The, the spider, I, me and the spiders in my house, we have an understanding. If you don't bother me, I don't bother you. But if you start coming after me, we're going to have an issue. I This one, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Seven of Swords. Um, oh, Let's see. I can't even think what Seven of Swords is right now. My brain is uh, getting a freeze. Let's see. Seven of Swords. I had to take a minute to think. Seven of Swords and of my understanding of seven of swords a lot of times it's somebody who's kind of being really shady somebody who's not i mean they're using their mind but not in the greatest of way they're strategizing a lot of times how to screw you up this i don't see that there you know um but still i mean it's it's different 
I, I don't have a problem with that card. It's just not what I would picture it. Eight of Swords, stop overthinking. Stop overthinking it and just do it. That's, yeah, Eight of Swords will do that. Nine of Swords, we all get a bit um, carried away with our worries sometimes. Isn't that the truth? And it's always at night, 3 a.m. <laughs> you get woken up and it's like, oh my God, the world's ending. Okay, Ten of Swords, pe hurt people, hurt people, and hurt witches, hurt witches. So she's cursing, which is always a bad idea. Well, not always. There are certain situations where if you can do it and you want to do it, there are certain people who deserve it. You know, but in my opinion, probably not the greatest of ideas, but why not? Page of Swords. Curiosity is a type of magic. I love this. I love her hair. Uh, book blogger is on her shirt. I like it. Knight of Swords. Be ambitious. Chase your every dream. Now, with this card, usually it's a very fast-paced, very strong card. I would see this more as um, Knight of Pentacles, not the Knight of Swords. Because, Knight, of, you know, Pentacles can, is slow, but, you know, reading takes a long time. You know, you don't just read a book in one day. Most people don't anyway. Not the books I have. I have the thick books. Um, but I do like the card, and I do like the imagery, so... I could still work with it. Queen of Swords, don't you dare lower your voice for anyone. And that's why also with talking about that card, I was a little nervous about it because I don't know how people are going to react to my, my, my opinion on that. It is just clearly my opinion. Um, but you know what? I am here to speak my truth and my truth is that. And there's a reason why for me, I don't know why particularly. I explain my, my, my reasons um, but it really just did something, it, it, to me, it's visceral, and I have to say that, you know, other than that, I really love this deck, I think it's truly beautiful, uh, and I'm very useful, I just can't with that one card, I just can't, King of Swords, we can all learn important things from one another, and that's why with this, I was alluding to that, I'm not going to close my voice up because someone may get offended by what I say. You know what? If you do, my channel's not for you, I guess. I'm sorry for it, but... And honestly, I'm not saying anything. I'm just stating my own, clearly my own opinion on that. <clears throat> Ace of Wands. I know there's contention around that, and that's why I say that. And also why I say that I'm not opposed to it. It's just in that context. In that context. Okay, Ace of Wands. Don't you see how your passion makes you glow? Love it. Two of Wands, your decisions decide your future here. Nothing else. So Two of Wands, yeah, it's usually about going forward, making it, having a passion for something new and just making that decision to, to start something new. Three of Wands, put yourself out there and you'll be rewarded one way or another. I love this card. I love the, the flowers. I just think it's great. Four of Wands, family is whoever makes you feel the most safe and comfortable being you. I, that's so true. Uh, it says here, a place to hang your witch hats. Very cute. And I love the little cupcake. I love this. It's so adorable. I just love it. Five of Wands, a good coven lets every witch have a say. Very true. I don't... I have never been to one, but I'm assuming if you're in a group like that, everyone should have a say. Six of Wands, you're kind of a big deal, so start acting like it. Um, six of Wands, yeah, I guess, yeah. Seven of Wands, witches should hold other witches accountable. Now, this card is another card I actually had an issue with. I don't agree with that because Seven of Wands is about standing your ground. And here she's being accused. You know, it's almost like the old witch times where people were pointing fingers and she was going to go stand on the pyre and get her ass burned. Okay. I think, I don't know. I think she should be standing her ground and saying, no, I don't think so. Because just because someone else wants to hold you accountable, you know what, by, by what? Did you actually do something or are they just saying you did something? And you have to hold yourself accountable, not, not, you know, have other people pointing fingers at you that I, that's one card that I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't, I don't see that that way at all with that particular card in general. Eight of Wands, light a fire underneath your cauldron and go, go, go. 
I do like that. That's very cute. It reminds me of uh, Hocus Pocus when the, they're calling the children and they all go out. Nine of Wands. It would take a hell of a lot more to defeat you. Love it. Ten of Wands. Why make things so much more difficult than they need to be? Blessed Solemn Witches. And she's carrying all her candles at one time. Put them in a basket, woman. Page of Wands. Just because you're passionate about it doesn't mean... It It'll be effortless, true. Knight of Wands, sometimes you have to be willing to bend the rules a little bit, or a little. I love this. Queen of Wands, replace your self-doubt with self-confidence. Look at her. I love it. Gorgeous. And the King of Wands, shine your inner candlelight bright enough for others to follow. Okay, so that's the deck. I'm going to read from it. Let's read that one <laughs> card that's irritating the hell out of me. Okay, we'll read on that one. We will read on... Um, ba, 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 ba. What was another one? Okay, we'll read on the Five of Wands. Was it Five or Seven of Wands? I think it was Seven of Wands. We'll read on the Seven of Wands. and Because they're, they're quick. This is quick. And there was another one here. What was it? Um... I, I, the cards don't really explain the imagery, which is a shame, or the book, which is a shame. Um, kind of wish it did. Okay, we'll do 13, which is death. Because I think if you're going to have such different imagery, I really think it would make sense to explain the reasoning behind it. All right, so we'll do the Empress. There is beauty to be found in every experience. In some cases, I don't, I don't subscribe to that because there are some experiences that are so horrific. Then there's nothing beautiful to be found in them. Okay. Other than survival. All right. So <clears throat> the, uh, the Empress is here to give you an ever blooming reminder. The world is filled with lovely things, but only if you choose to see them where there are seemingly none to be found, use the immensity of your imagination to create some, or better yet, use your hands, bearing in mind that art doesn't need to be perfect for it to be moving. If you suddenly feel a strong urge to pick up a paintbrush, even though you've never painted anything before, then go ahead and do it. Don't ever set limits to your self-expression, because it's such an integral part of what makes life worth living. If you like the thing, and it makes you feel something, then it's all that matters. Reversed. Sadly, something may have tarnished the way you view the world. Take time to nurture yourself the way a caring mother might. Be your own mother. Hold your own hand and show yourself all the wonderful and worthwhile things that still exist. Now, I love that. This write-up is perfect. It's beautiful. I, have n I think it's wonderful. But, of course, it doesn't explain the imagery and the imagery... It just irritates. It just seriously bothers me. I am seriously triggered by it. It seriously just irritates me. Okay. 13, which is broom, <clears throat> which typically would be death. So it says here, AKA death. I like that. Tidy up your lives so you can make space for something better. If you're, if you're anything like the witch in this card, then you might be a collector of anything, even slightly magical or interesting crystals, bottles, seashells you name it as much as you might like having so many things they can easily become clutter if you don't do anything useful with them and that stagnant energy can clog up every area of your life this is your sign to clean and organize literally or metaphorically say goodbye to all the people places things and stories that no longer serve who you are in this particular phase of your life by doing this you'll open yourself up to so many amazing possibilities you didn't have room for before. <clears throat> I love this and I really needed to hear that. <coughs> Excuse me. I need a sip of coffee. Okay. I I, I love it. The the write-ups in this book are excellent. The ones that I've read are excellent. I'm not taking away from the creator or anything. It's and I love the artwork. As you know, I'm not gonna say it again. Reverse. Your refusal to let go doesn't delay the inevitable end of certain relationships or situations. It just causes you to stand around awkwardly until it ends on its own. Life is short, so be mindful how you spend your time and others. Should it be with others? 
Hmm. Your time and others. Okay. <clears throat> I I love that. I think that's true. It, if something's meant to end, it doesn't matter what you do. It's going to end. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Seven of Wands. So the, it, there's always there's a page also that describes the 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 suit. And it's fire is the element. Keywords of passion, energy, and creativity for that particular suit. Seven of Wands. Okay. Witches should hold other witches accountable. Oh, it looks like someone is finally getting called out on her bad behavior. Let's hope she handles it well. Even when you're a witch, you're still a fallible human being. And you will eventually say or do things you shouldn't. Your, your mistakes don't make you a bad witch, necessarily. Sometimes what, ha what really matters is how you choose to respond once you've been confronted. In most situations, the best thing to do, surprisingly, also the simplest thing to do, first, listen and try to understand where they're coming from. Second, apologize. The phrase, I'm sorry, is one of the most powerful spells there is. Last, you better when you know better. That's not too difficult, right? Reverse, perhaps you were made aware that something you did or said was harmful, but instead of accepting accountability, you decide to double down, making it so much worse. Now you have two things to apologize for, the original issue and now this. Okay, so that is not how I see the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands to me is really about you are in the right and everyone else that's pointing fingers at you is trying to bully you, to, trying to bully you to uh, change your mind, whatever. And it's usually in my, it means stand your ground. Don't give up. You, you will be successful. I don't see that card that way. I honestly see this more as being very accusatory. So I... That one is one that I'm like, no, I really wouldn't see that card that way. I would, I would take this and just use it as seven of one. Uh, I do like the imagery, but I think it could, it would do better with another card. I can't even think of what card right now, to be honest with you. Um, maybe judgment. <laughs> judgment would be a good one, you know, because it looks like this. She's being highly judged here, and I mean. She, no, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't think a mobs and bullies, you know, a mob of people telling you you're wrong, unless it's like an intervention where somebody is um, in the grips of addiction. And usually you're not telling people, you're just telling people how you feel about it. You're not really beating them up. You know, you don't want to do that. So no, not a fan of that one. But I could still work with that one because that one does not trigger me. The other one does. <laughs> The other one triggers me so much so that unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to use this deck. And because of that, I'm probably, I'm more than likely going to return it. So anyway, that is the Cozy Witch Tarot deck. It is by Amanda Lovelace. The artwork is by Janina Medeiros. Other than that one card, I think it's a perfectly beautiful deck and I'm really sorry for it. So my opinion, my own personal opinion, if people start coming at me, I will turn off comments because <laughs> I don't want to, I'm not feeling great and I'm not going to be dealing with, you know, bad attitudes. All right, you guys have a great day wherever you are. I hope you take good care of yourselves. Uh, blessings and thank you.